Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a story time video. Um, clearly from the title you can see what it's about, but before I jump into that I do just want to go over a couple of things really quickly. I do want to shout out my niece's lash company, Crazy Beauty. Uh, she has a variety of lashes. I'm gonna have all of her information, her links to her website uh, down in the bottom description. I'll also do her Instagram and her TikTok as well. I'm gonna continue to have all of her links down in the bottom bar. Um, and then if you guys could kindly just check out her pages and check out her website. Um, and maybe if you like some lashes, you can order some. So these are just a couple of the many lashes that she does have on her website. Um, but my favorite lash is of course the lash collab that we did um, it's called Sarita and it's actually still available I'm pretty sure I think she's gonna continue to keep that as one of her lashes and then my second favorite is uh, Lena which is what I have on right now um, this is my sister's lash which I really really like this lash this is like a full lash like you're wearing like a dramatic look this is a good lash um, and then she also has a lash called Lola which is after my mom um, that's just more of like a natural subtle lash which I believe she still has in stock and then um, she also has like her own lash called Lizette which is a very very pretty lash this lash is like full as well not as full as the Lena but a little bit more subtle so if you don't want super full like this this is a this is a good alternative and then lastly, she has Dulce, which is like her number one top selling lash. This is a great lash. I love this lash. So I would recommend you guys to go check her out. Please, if you can't get anything, at least like, like some of her TikTok, like some of her content on Instagram, and just keep it in mind if you ever want to buy some lashes. They're very, 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 very affordable. So it's it's a good deal. Next order of business is, is I'm doing another giveaway. <laughs> So if you haven't watched my Valentine's Day video, um, then you wouldn't know that I'm going to be doing a giveaway for the next three, well the next two months. I'm committed to do a three month giveaway. Last month I gave away a scrub and a body butter. And then for the month of March I'm going to be giving away one as well. And then for next month I'm going to be giving one away as well i'm going to be giving another one away so um basically if you haven't been watching my tiktoks um i love to create my there's ducks in the back pond in my patio that are loud so if you hear it it's the ducks um i love to do shower tiktoks they're my favorite thing to do i have so many tree hut scrubs um i started off with just using one and then i really got into collecting it and i pretty much have all of the almost all of the the tree hut scrubs not all of them the ones that i don't have are the ones that um that i don't care for the scent or the smell but i pretty much have majority of them um and I do have a ton of body, uh, body wash and just, you know, a lot of bath and body work stuff that I have and shower gels and such. So I really got into doing that. Um, but if you want a chance to win this body butter and this scrub, it is in the scent Coconut Lime for St. Patrick's Day because it's green. Um, all you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Under one of the posts that I'm going to be making or under this video, all you have to do is comment this emoji. That'll enter you into the giveaway. Haven't quite worked out when I'm going to be uh, doing what date I'm going to do the giveaway, but I'll have the details of that link down in the bottom bar. I'll be having the instructions on my IG, my Instagram, and on my TikTok as well. And I'm going to be filming a video for both of those too. So um, if you want to win this please enter you lose nothing if you don't have an instagram and you don't have a tiktok that's fine just comment this emoji down here in the comments um and yeah that's about it so let's go ahead and jump into this video <laughs>
back in 2010 um i was in high school and i met this guy uh we'll call him robbie and we we started dating like in the end of like the school year when the school year started in 2010 so i was like i think like a sophomore at the time or something like that um and basically we started dating he lived in livermore and if you didn't know i'm um i grew up in middle school and high school in this city called mountain house uh by tracy california um so he was just over the altamont pass so my friend cassie i hope she doesn't mind that i'm using her name by the way i will have her tiktok linked down below if you guys want to see some funny tiktoks you gotta check out her tiktok page it's hilarious so shout out to my friend cassie um but my friend cassie and aiden would take me across the altamont all the time we were always in livermore i swear um all the time to go over to his house and uh we were dating i think we were dating for almost a year i'm pretty sure but i also had this friend we'll call her Haley. um i had this friend named Haley. we weren't friends for very long we i met her a little after i started dating robbie and i was like i was really good friends with her like she had some drama going on um of her own and i was there for her constantly like she would come over to my house spend the night she hung out with my cousin we'll call him um i don't want to say his name his real name but we call all call him by his nickname in the family so i don't want to call him that we'll just call him Miguel <laughs> so um she like really liked my cousin Miguel and Miguel was living in Mountain House at the time too with my aunt and uncle so Miguel it would be me Miguel and Haley chilling at my house um they were both like very similar but he he didn't really care for her like he didn't like her like that so um but they would come over and they would hang out together and she would constantly like try and be around my cousin and i was just like dude like i don't i don't think he likes you <laughs> so i i don't i didn't really know what to do like i was just kind of like you mean you can come over and hang out but i mean he's made it pretty clear to you that he doesn't like you so um she was having some issues with this guy named and we'll call him Anthony uh, with this guy named Anthony and um, basically Anthony cheated on her with some other girl from school so um, I had went to the bathroom one day and um, we were the bell had already rang for us to go to class but I was still in the bathroom because you know my morning time i have to go to the bathroom <laughs> so i always went to the bathroom and this particular day i was running late so i was stuck in the bathroom doing my business because nature called and this girl and her friend came in and she was like i heard her and her friend over talking and she basically said like anthony told me that he's gonna break up with Haley before the winter ball so that way he can take me and i was like what the f i was just i was stunned in shock and they were just talking crap about her that they talked about it was i i didn't like hearing that like i didn't she was my best friend one of my best friends at the time so i really didn't like hearing that um i went to class we were in math class together and i went to class and told her like hey i was just in the bathroom um this is what blah 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 said and they said that anthony's gonna break up with you so that way he doesn't have to take you to winter winter ball and you know he's gonna take her and she just started breaking down crying like i felt so bad for her after that i really got like close with her we were constantly hanging out every day after school um and she she would just she was she just was she was miserable she was a mess like as you can imagine um he did you know break up with her unfortunately um and he started 
talking to that other girl so i really tried to be there for her and be like a friend um i also still had my boyfriend that lived in livermore and my boyfriend he started being like aggressive toward me like not physically aggressive but oh, i guess the word aggressive isn't the right word to use he started being very and he basically just started being like a jerk to me and i was like wondering like why he was being like this to me like did i do something or like like did i say something like what happened like what what changed for you to start acting this way toward me and he wouldn't want to hang out with me he he just I don't know what it was like he didn't want me coming over anymore he didn't want to come over to my house anymore so I don't know what the hell happened and basically he like breaks up with me out of nowhere and I'm like what the heck like why and he's just like I just have like you know some things I need to figure out and I just need to be alone and blah 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 some BS so I'm like wow like I was really like heartbroken and devastated and I remember um he broke up with me like during class and I couldn't even like focus and my stomach was churning and I just I couldn't even like the rest of the day I was a mess even on lunch I spent my whole lunch in the girls bathroom on the phone with him crying with my my other friend I remember she was just in there for me being there for me like you know consoling me while I was on the phone with him and he was just legit being like an a-hole to me like I don't know why I just he was and the crazy thing was is that my friend Haley she was like nowhere to be found when this happened like I just kind of figured that maybe she was going through her thing with Anthony breaking up with her and then like my cousin Miguel didn't want to be with her so um I was just like okay maybe she's just you know going through it too but basically she was nowhere to be found like we kind of just stopped like hanging out every day um our our friendship kind of like toned down a little bit and i remember one day it was after school my friend cassie um was supposed to take me to livermore to go see him because we had agreed that we were going to get back together we well actually we got back together briefly um after that and um we wanted to i wanted to talk to him about things so and just hang out maybe go out to eat i don't know so my friend cassie was supposed to take us to livermore and i don't know like i had like a feeling i didn't want my friend Haley to come because she wanted to come and i was just like no like you can't come with me to go hang out with my boyfriend like we're fragile right now like we just got back together um we're trying to figure stuff out and something ended up happening and Cassie was just like um I told her like never mind we're not gonna go my friend Haley really was adamant about going out to Livermore and so she I guess she got her sister to take her out there I don't know and I don't know what happened but I found out that I don't know how I found out but eventually I found out that Haley and Robbie had each other's phone number and I know that they both had Facebook at the time I had Facebook so I don't know like if she reached out to him or he reached out to her but I found out that they had each other's phone number and I think that was before I um we had canceled on going to Livermore and I think that's yeah that's the reason why I didn't want her going going to Livermore and I even went so far as canceling like I told Cassie like never mind we're not gonna go like forget it and Haley went out there anyway and so I don't know what happened I don't think me and him texted or talked on the phone that night I didn't talk to her that night but I'm pretty sure she went out there to go see him. And I don't remember how I found out. But basically, Robbie broke up with me again. And I think he just like admitted it to me and told me it was because he wanted to be with Haley. Or he wanted to date, start dating Haley. And I was like devastated. And I was just like, I can't believe like... 
Like, I can't believe, like, she would do this to me. Like, after everything I did for her, I was there for her. I was her friend. Like, she got her heart broken um, by Anthony, and I was there for her. And she, my, even my cousin didn't want to be with her, but I was, like, trying to be positive about it. And, like, maybe one day, you know, you guys can get together. I don't know. So I was just, like, really devastated that she would do this to me. And... As far as Robbie goes, I mean, he can go, I don't want to say it, but, you know, I, that was that. But um, for her, like, her friendship was, I really thought that we were, like, had, like, a, a really close friendship. And for her to do that to me, I was devastated. Um, now, I knew that she had sent him a nude picture through, I think, text message or something like that. I don't remember how or no I don't think I did see it I remember I don't actually I take that back I didn't see the nude picture that she sent him I didn't but I knew that she had sent it and my good friend we'll call him Andrew uh, my good friend Andrew his, who was like my little brother to me at the time he had came over to hang out with me and we were really close. Uh, we were like brother and sister, like my family, we called him little brother. And I was talking to him about it and he was like, I have to tell you something. And I was like, what? And he was like, she also sent me and a group of other guys a nude picture too through email. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, like she's, she's very loose. Like she, <laughs> he was like, she's loose. She's desperate. She's, um, she's, what's that word? Fickle. <laughs> he said, yeah, she's fickle. She's like, you know, she's, she's, she's getting around. She gets around. So I was just like, oh my God, this girl is desperate. Like, what the heck is wrong with her sending my little brother like nudes and okay but sending a group of guys like knowing willingly talking to a group of guys and sending them a nude picture of you what is wrong with you like i don't i didn't even know like what the hell to say like i was just like wow i had knew that she sent robbie one so, well, when I did confront her over the phone, um, she was like, I never sent that. When I texted her, she was like, I never sent a new picture to him. Nothing, da, da 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 And I was just like, I was like, can you find the nude picture? And Andrew was like, yeah, why? And I was just like, because I'm going to confront her ass because I knew that she sent that picture to my boyfriend. And so he was like, okay. So he went on his on his email like nothing and pulled it up and there it was her in all her glory like in her birthday suit <sighs> he gave me the picture like he emailed it to my phone and um i told him i said i want to confront her because she's not talking to me she, she's she basically just stopped talking to me after i confronted her the first time about my boyfriend cheating on me with her and about the nude picture and she basically just like stopped talking to me after that and I was like what the hell like how are you gonna do this to me and do this to our friendship like I didn't get no closure from her nothing she just stopped talking to me after that and she was avoiding me at school uh, she anytime like she would see me she, she wouldn't come to class I wasn't going to class really either but yeah like she was just avoiding me so I got the picture and I told my friend Cassie I said look dude I need your help <laughs> I was like we got to confront this this girl and um Andrew was like well I can, I'm talking to her she's still talking to me so I can tell her to come to like a meetup place or something and and uh you know you guys can you can pop up <laughs> and hash it out and I was like oh we're gonna hash it out all right I planned on beating her ass and so she lived in Mountain House too I lived in Mountain House. Andrew lived in Mountain House. Cassie lived in Tracy, but she had a car. So she was constantly, you know, she was the one driving me to Livermore and she would drive to my house. So she would come out and visit and see me. So I told Cassie, I said, look, I'm going to need you to come down here. I'm going to need you to be prepared because we're about to, we're about to pop up on her and I'm going to confront her. And if it gets to that point, we're, we're going to be throwing down. 
and Cassie was like, all right, I'm down. <laughs> like, Cassie's down for anything. So she was like, I'm down. Like, I'm, I'm going, I'm coming, I'm coming. And so it was after school and I remember, um, Andrew had told her like everything, like, okay, like I, I want to come, I want you to come to the park. And she was just with her loose self was like all down for it. So, um, we pull up me and Cassie, Andrew and, and Haley were already there. I got confirmation from Andrew. He texted me that she's there. She came. And so they were already there and I pulled up, we parked and I started walking toward her and I see her little brother. My little brother was there I think he's like four or five and I was like I'm not about to beat this girl up in front of her little brother like I, I can't do that no I'm not gonna do that and I, I had already made my mind up in my head when I seen him there and I just was like you know what like it, I don't want to do this like I, I can be the bigger person I don't want to hurt her and I don't want her little brother to have that memory and that's tra that's traumatic so I was like I'm that's not me I'm not that kind of person I can't do that no 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 and I think that even if she didn't bring her brother I still would have had that moment where I was just like this isn't me like I'm not a confrontational person at all I'm not I'm really not I don't like confrontation I do not like it at all whatsoever I went there with the intention to fight her, but my whole, when I seen her little brother, my whole like demeanor just changed. And I was just like, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do anything to scar him, you know? And I don't want him to see his sister like that. And I'm not only that, but I don't wanna say this, but she's the type of person that would probably call the cops, so. <laughs> And me, a Native American girl, like, no, I just, mm -mm. <laughs> I wouldn't have, it wouldn't have looked good for me. So, we go and walk over to her, and I think Andrew told her, like, hey, can you, I'll watch your brother, like, go over there and talk to her, or something like that. So, she came over, and Cassie was standing right there, and I was like, look, like, what the hell were you thinking? Like, why would you even like think it's okay for you to come and step into my relationship and ruin it like that and I was like I know you're lying about this whole nude picture thing and she was like I'm not lying I never sent him a nude picture so I had my phone with me and I pulled it up and I showed her and I was like so this isn't you sending him nudes and she was like she went like that and I was like yeah not only did you send nudes to my now ex-boyfriend because of your ass but you also and also like i know i was like better off without him but still i was salty about it and i was young and naive and dumb in high school and thought i was in love but um all you also sent this new picture to my little brother and to a group of his friends like what is wrong with you i was like what like how much attention do you need i was like because you had a good friend i was a good friend to you like what the hell is wrong with you and she was just like i have nothing to say and she walked away and that was that that never it never got resolved and never nothing and so a couple of days had gone by and i was just down in the dumps like i was like a zombie pretty much um i wouldn't eat I couldn't sleep at night. I just stayed up watching TV the whole time. On the weekends, I stayed in my room crying. Um, it got to the point where my grandfather, because he lived with us at the time and he lived in the room next to me, it actually got to the point where my grandfather told my mom, like, I can't sleep at night because she's crying all the time. Like, she just cries all the time. And I remember my mom talking to me about it and she was like i know like this was devastating to you but you have to like move on like you cannot be caught up on this guy forever like you have to move on you have to know that you know it it wasn't meant to be you guys weren't meant to be like i know what he did to you was wrong but like you you can't like continue like this and she basically like had to try and snap me out of it because it got to the point where i was throwing up because i wasn't eating and 
I remember my sister took me to um to Target with her and I had to run to the bathroom and I just like threw up because I think I had had like a peanut butter and jelly before we left and I hadn't eaten anything and my stomach was my stomach was that upset like I was I ha I have never been heartbroken like that before. I had boyfriends in the past, but yeah, I was able to get over it and move on. But I was so distraught to not even be able to eat or have like an appetite or cr like cr literally crying every day, you guys. I was crying every day. I was crying in the morning. <laughs> On the bus ride to school, I was crying at lunch in the bathroom by myself, crying on the way home on the bus ride home. When I got home, I just went straight to my room and that was my life for a couple, like I want to say a couple of weeks actually, maybe like a month or so. I was like that and I want to cry. That, um that started like well i don't want to cry no i'm not gonna cry no i'm not gonna cry no. um that triggered uh depression for me um that i had from childhood so it was just kind of like I went, I slipped back into that. Hold on. I wanted to catch that before that tear rolled down. I wasn't prepared to cry. Alright, I'm okay now. Um, no more crying. <laughs> But, um, I do plan on doing a story time with you guys about my depression, because I do have depression. Um, I'd say I still have it now because it's kind of like recovery. You're always in recovery. You're never, like, um, completely, uh, what do they say? Recovered. You're always in recovery. Um, so it's kind of the same thing with depression, like, um, except for it'll go away and then it'll come back. So... I believed that that triggered me to slip back into depression and I remember my dumbass talking to him after this whole thing had happened um, and I took him back like an idiot and I wish I wouldn't had because it just caused more problems. Um, I had came home from school and like I did I went upstairs but I was starting to feel a little bit more like myself and it's sad because I believed that I needed him to not feel that way anymore. Um, but I did and I came home from school and I went up to my room and I had been home for a couple of hours and my mom calls me on my cell phone and she says, hey, can you come downstairs? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, there's someone here to see you. And I was like, okay. So I went downstairs and I turned the corner to go into the dining room. And there she is, Haley. With, with her mom and with her dad sitting there at the table. My dining room table with my mom sitting there. And I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> she was having a lot of issues with that girl that Anthony... Anthony broke up with her to go with that girl to uh, winter formal. What the f What the hell? Did you guys hear that? I'm gonna listen to this footage and see if I could hear that on there. That was crazy. That was a long donut. <laughs> Sounded like somebody was screaming, but I think it was somebody busting a donut. Um, but yeah, so basically she was having issues with the, these group of girls from um, high school. Those girls were sophomores and we were actually, I was a junior. 
I was a junior at the time. I think. Was I a junior? Yeah. I take that back. This happened junior year. She was having issues with these girls. They were talking a lot of crap about her. Um, they did not like her at all. But anyways, uh, basically I go in and I sit down and her mom is like, we wanted to come over here and talk to you because uh, Haley's been having issues with these group of girls at school and they've been bullying her and blah, blah, blah. And um, after the meeting, Haley said, well, mom, I need to talk to you about Madi. And she was like, what about Madi? And she was like, this more drama. Her mom was like, well, we got to go over there and talk to her and her mom. And uh, yeah, I don't want to say this part. I'm not going to say this part because I don't want anybody to judge me or my family about this. But um, basically, my her mom was like, did you know this about Robbie? And it's something I'm not going to disclose. Um, and my mom was like, yeah. I knew she was like I was well aware my daughter is very honest with me up front and she told me from the start about this and her mom was just like like judging us my mom was like my daughter's very mature for her age so uh you know we believe that blah 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 about him and that'll be fine about him like we 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 think that 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 was fine what you know what I don't want to disclose so um basically i just started saying like i was like i was a friend to you i was there for you i was like i i tried to hook you up with my cousin like you were my best friend and i was like and i just started crying and i was like now me and robbie like have issues and now like i don't trust him and like i'll never trust him and our relationship is pretty much scarred from now on and I was like, I'm just really hurt most of all by you though. I was like, I was really there for you and what did I do to you to deserve this? Like, what did I do? What did I do? And she was just like, you didn't do anything. She was like, you didn't. She was like, and you're right, you didn't deserve this. Like, I shouldn't have done this to you. And so that was that. And her mom was like, wow. She was like, wow, Haley, like, it sounds like you really like lost a good friend. And I was like, I'm not saying that you and me are going to be friends again, but I was like, but I will be cordial towards you. I won't be mean to you, but I, I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to be friends with you. And they brought up the picture. They brought up the nude picture. She, her mom was like, there's this picture circulating of her around the school. I had told them, I was like, no, I don't have it anymore. I deleted it. And her mom was just like, well, please just, you know, don't share with anybody. Don't bring it up to anybody or da, 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 da we just kind of like moved on from there now fast forward a couple of months we went to junior prom um and i went with my friend veronica and i think i think actually during the prom he had broke up with me again so we had i think a course over our whole relationship that we were together we broke up and got back together like i want to say four or five times and which is really sad i know and so um i went to prom with my friend veronica and Haley was there I remember like I was coming out of our table where we were at and she was standing there by the dance floor and it was me Veronica Aiden and Cassie and we were like going I don't know where we were going we were going outside or something to like the patio and she steps aside and she goes like that for me to like walk through and I don't know what came over me like I was just so <laughs> angry because i had robbie had broken up with me again and i was like thinking it was for her ass so i don't know what came over me but i pushed her i pushed her like shoved her down and she like i think she fell to the ground i'm pretty sure she fell to the ground and she was like what the <laughs> and i just looked at her and rolled my eyes and walked away because i knew that we had like squashed it but like again Robbie had broken up with me so I thought it was to start seeing her again so I was mad all over again and that whole meeting that we had like with her parents and my mom was just like down the drain to me like I didn't care about it I was pissed off I was mad so the print the vice principal uh pulled me outside 
<laughs> and pulled her outside and was like we can't be having this going on and if you girls are gonna be acting like this you could spend the rest of the night on the bus and I was like I'm not gonna let her ruin my night I was like I'm having a good night she's like good you should be having a good night and I was like I am having a good night and the only thing that's ruining this night is being out here with her talking to you and I was like, so as long as she stays the hell out of my way, I'll be fine. <laughs> and my vice principal just kind of looked at me and was like, oh my god, this girl. So, but we pretty much stayed out of each other's way the rest of the night. And then after that, she moved. I think, I don't know where the hell she moved. She moved to like Texas or something like that. But she was from down south anyway. So, she she ended up actually moving. So, and then me and Robbie like lost contact. Well... We didn't lose contact, but after he broke up with me the last time, it was a hard hit because he just stopped talking to me. Like, he he changed his number. Like, he didn't want nothing to do with me. Um, I had a bunch of my stuff at his apartment in Livermore, and I made my friend Cassie and Angelica go with me to Livermore so that way I could go pick up my stuff. And he came out and it was just all bad like my friend Cassie was about to like kill him like she was gonna beat his and um I yeah that was the last time I seen him after that I didn't really see him I never saw him again and um it's crazy because in 2015 um I think this was right after me and Michael got married he hit me up like on Facebook and he was like hey how are you doing and i was just like don't message me no more i was like don't talk to me anymore don't message me again i never want to see your your face in my inbox ever again and i went onto his page and lo and behold he had a whole ass girlfriend so i went onto her page and i messaged her and i was like hey i sent her screenshots and i was like this is what's up I was like, he's my ex, he's trying to talk to me again, because he, he, I don't remember what it was he said, he said something to me, he was being flirtatious though, and I was like, this is what, he cheated on me too, and blah blah blah, and she, she opened up to me and was like, yeah, we're having issues, he's, he's cheated on me, and da da da, and I was just like, yeah, he cheated on me too, girl, I was like, and I just want to let you know that he's not worth it, I was like, because he put me through hell, my whole junior year, I was, I was, just depressed like a zombie I was like and it's because of him and I was like and he was I don't want to say he was like abusive to me in high school because mm, he didn't like hit me or anything like that but he did push me one time against the bed in his room because I went over there all the time and spent the night and he pushed me against we were talk, we were arguing about something he pushed me against his bed um and it was the corner of the bed and he had a wood a wood bed frame and when i fell against the bed i fell down it scraped my skin up my back and i remember going to the bathroom and looking at it and i was just like wow like why am i with this guy like what what am I getting out of being with this guy? So I'm happy that he stopped talking to me and it was a hard hit for me, but it was what I needed to get over him. And my whole senior year, like I was, I had a great senior year because he had broke up with me in, I think it was like summer. Yeah, summer of 20, 2011 after like um, we had got back together after prom we broke up again and that was it like he just stopped talking to me and I think it's because he met somebody else um in Livermore and I I'm I'm happy he didn't talk to me because I would have never got over him like it, it would have just been awful so but um he actually tried talking to me and texting me um in the beginning of my senior year of high school and I remember walking on the bus and looking at the text message and by th this time, it had already been a whole summer and the first, like, the first semester of my senior year. And I looked at the text message and I was just like, nope, I'm not going to reply. And I was so proud of myself because that was growth. I, like, came so far and I didn't text him back. I just left it and never responded to him. And he didn't reach out to me again until 2015. So... 
and that's that that's the story about how i almost beat up my best friend crazy um but i wasn't expecting to get emotional um so i apologize for that i don't like crying on camera I, well i don't like crying in general but i'm a very like emotional person so it comes with it i guess but uh yeah that's it for this story time if you guys want to hear more story times let me know i have i think i have a couple of stories that i can talk about i do have a plan um to talk about uh my depression um that's just uh that's that's a part of a couple of other videos that i'm probably going to film but um that's in the future so maybe not this year but maybe so who knows so that's it for this video um make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel uh let me know down below other content that you want me to film and you want to see um also if you're not following me on ready i'm already i'm going to have all of my links to my instagram and my tiktok twitter down below um i'm going to be posting the giveaway um on all three so i'm going to have a, a individual video for all three for for um this and then for my instagram and my tiktok so that is it um i don't think i have anything else to say my camera battery is dying thanks for watching and i'll see you next time Thank you.